Good morning. So we are down in South Devon, about to drain this, rip this out, and actually create a double spillway bowl into here that are going to spill either into each other or potentially next to each other. So yeah, we've got to rip out this concrete construction of this, catch, catch the animals and things, and luckily move them to a neighbour's pond and turn this into a fountain scape. Either going to have a bowl and a bowl falling into one another, or we're going to have a bowl and a bowl falling either way or together. Clients yet to decide on that one. Um, but yeah, we're in a lovely little setting in this former location. So crack on, get this one ripped out, get it drained through, get our area ready for our aqua blocks and our basin below and we can start making this look a bit more creative. Stay tuned. So there we have it, we've got it fully drained. Not quite clean, but I'm gonna be ripping this out anyway to then bring in our aqua blocks, which are situated here. Pretty need to make them up. The reason I wanted to have just a quick chat with you guys was basically, as you can see, this has been in the concrete construction then been painted. Actually, we don't use this type of technology. The main reason is it wasn't holding water, but you can see I can actually push that. You can sort of slightly see it moving. So there's a pinprick hole somewhere in this. Oh, and then, as you can see, water's now got underneath it. It will cause an air gap here. And actually, I can now peel the paint off. And it just doesn't work, unfortunately. You know, the, the lifespan of this is just so minute. It's um, like buying a car knowing that the engine was going to fail in literally like six months. <laughs> It's just an absolute waste of money and obviously now that's going to sit on our planet um, with no use and actually didn't even do the, the job right in the first place so actually you know if you're going to choose to do a, a feature maybe think about some form of liner EPDM's the best malleable liner and will last a lifetime if installed correctly Oh wait, the uh, day certainly heated up. Might even have to get my sunglasses to be fair. Um, but luckily, we managed to break all the concrete out, get all that done, and that's given us a little bit of a, a better s scope of what's going to go on. So, I'm gonna jump on clearing this up, get the aqua blocks made, lay that out, and see what's going on. The uh, sun is really beating down now. It's meant to be a cloudy day, but I suppose down on the coast you uh, get bombarded by the heat. So yeah, cracking on really well. Basically most of the area dug just got to be cleaned up and uh, then our underlay, liner, overlay, and then our aqua blocks and our uh, area for our pump. And then we can uh, yeah tidy all that up and get this one going. And then yeah, get these bowls and uh, start making this look quite pretty. So we're getting on really well. We have positioned our bowls. Actually, we've got one at a slight higher elevation than the other, which is really quite sweet to see from when you're up on the driveway there. Em's moving some rocks and uh, the sort of patio seating area over here. So yeah, loving how, how we've got this one slightly higher than this one. And then from over here, over here you'll be able to see yeah, the, there's the slight difference in water, which will be really quite fun. And we're going to nestle some stone, stones in underneath. And now yeah, we've got a nice assortment of plants as well to dot in all around.
Wow wee. So all finished up here down on the south coast of Devon with this sort of well it's a little quirky fountainscape. It's two spillway bowls, sort of different uh, slight elevations. We managed to cut a few rocks into place, not necessarily cut, but maybe it looks like the the bowls are cut into place. And obviously we've we've done a lovely little planting package to sort of match with that with the client's theme for the rest of the garden. Yeah, and actually it's turned out really wonderful. And uh, yeah, let me just show you guys. Yeah, so we've equipped this project with a iron gen and that basically releases uh, copper ions into the water. So in our fountain scapes we use them, we just keep them on a low volume most of the time uh, during the sort of the warmer months and then that does then inhibit string algae from occurring which does, does happen especially on uh, sort of a south facing garden such as this. And along with that we've got our, um, this is sort of our, our, our medium uh, upon this waterfall or fountain scape range with three lights, um, a five and a half thousand pump and the iron gen upgrade as well as a few terrestrial plants and things as well to really blend it in and I think it's marvellous and I think it works in this space no end compared to what was obviously here before which was just a defunct failing pond that had been here for a very long time I believe so it's actually nice to bring this back to life and uh, give something for the clients to enjoy So as you can see actually having just a few little accent lights on a small feature as this it does make a huge difference and as you can see as it sort of bubbles away and it, it almost looks like silver is, uh, is melting in a, a cauldron or something but it just adds such another fun element especially you know if you're inside you know most of us do spend our lives inside as much as we are outside people and it's nice to have that glance you know if you are sat at the window or, or doing the washing up just to be able to just glance out to to your water feature and just see those cascades or in this case the fountainscape just yeah, flittering away and doing its thing especially yeah, as the, the, the night goes on we're at twilight now but as the, the night does draw on you'll get sort of a little bit of pattern probably on the viburnum in the background there and actually at the moment you can see just down below me you can see it starting to appear you know on the back of this iris so you know, it just adds such a nice, nice fun element and I think it's a, a must for any water feature doesn't have to be left on all night we do put a photo cell on there so actually it does come on for you know a few hours and just goes off when uh, when you set it to so you don't even have to think about turning them on it's perfect it's quite a fun project to uh, to bring to life and I know the clients are going to come out here and enjoy it a lot and it's uh, really fun to create and you know be creative as we can be with something so small and I think it's come into a marvellous feature you know a little bit of thinking to this there's a sort of a dual aspect type of thing to it you know so they could see it from literally straight behind me there as they come down the driveway they are going to be able to see this at, at night time or in fact daytime and um, so when they pull in it's just going to hopefully give them that little smile that they are home and just give them that little little warm fuzzy feeling that we try to create and as you can see there's the outside dining set here so actually you know as as they are dining here you know they'll be able to see across to these little bubblies of, of lights as well as the, the curtains there are falling down from the spillway bowls. Please do get in touch if you'd like for us to create a custom water feature, whether that's a fountainscape pond or pondless waterfall. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Yeah, don't forget to, to like, comment and obviously subscribe to our channel. And feel free to uh, let us know what you thought about this one and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.